Well, hello, my friends, and welcome back to the bench. Today, we're going to be testing Hobby Spray Can Matte Clears, or Flat Clears, whatever you guys prefer. Um, by Hobby, I mean I'm not doing any industrial ones. No uh, Rust-Oleum, no Krylon, uh, none of those, none of the auto ones. Um, I'm just going to go ahead with Hobby brands, Tamiya, Ravel, Testers, and... Um, I threw in this one at the end here. I'll just go over that in a second. This Windsor and Newton, which technically is an art. It is an art one. It's not an industrial one. And uh, I'm missing one, and uh, I'll explain that in a second. Um, all right, here's what we got. Testers Spray Lacquer Dull Coat. I guess they call it Dull Coat instead of Matte. Um, Ravel Spray Color. Matte. There we go. Clear Matte. Never tested this before. That'll be a first for me. Uh, Tamiya TS80 flat clear personal favorite as I haven't really tried many of these yet, but that's been my standby um, Mr. Super clear for mr. Hobby what we have here. There it is super clear mat You also have a two uh, um, a U, uh, UV one that cuts the UV light damage. They also have one of those uh, true color uh, Here we are flat finish this is uh i think they're located in arizona in america here i think it's arizona hold on guys yep phoenix arizona now i do have their uh their jar paint for cars i mean they make it for aircraft uh locomotives um but i do have their car colors and uh, they go on really nice but airbrushing i never tried their spray cans this is titan out of italy Made in Italy. Um, they usually, I, I have a bunch of their primers in these large, large cans. But I also happen to have their uh, matte varnish, transparent matte. And um, we're going to test that here. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you guys. Ammo distributes these, but they're not made by Ammo. They're made by uh, this company, Titans. So now let me show you their other uh, cans I have here. One second, guys. All right, here we are. Gotta reach behind me here. A little blank dead air there. This is their, uh, well, this is some of them. I got a bunch of them. See, it? this is their primers. Flat black, a gray, red, there's a yellow. All kinds of colors they make. And um, I've used this a lot along the way. I spray a lot of spoons and get stuff prepped um, before I go ahead and uh, do a big test. So I do like these. Uh, I got them at Spray Gunner. I'll put a link below um, to those at the end of the video. I'm going to put those behind me. All right, let's move on. This is Citadel. And this I got at uh, the local uh, games workshop, which happens to be about a mile from my house. I don't use much of their material. Too bad. It's a nice little store, but uh, I did go get this one for the test. This is Vallejo's or Vallejo's Matte Mate. There we go. Matte Varnish. Um... Even if these went for 20 bucks, I didn't. I got these around 12 or 13. Uh, no, that's before the pandemic. Everything's going way up. But uh, uh, still a good value in these giant cans, I'll tell you right now. And this is the one that was uh, brought to my attention. So I went and looked at my local uh, art supply store, and they had it. Matte Varnish by Windsor & Newton. Again, I grabbed it because it's a hobby. It's a hobby uh, brand. It's not a, it's not a uh, industrial brand like Krylon or those. Um, here's what we're going to spray them over. I'm going to show you what we're going to spray them over. We're going to go over a lacquer, a candy, an acrylic lacquer, and model air. This is a, a, a true acrylic. So, I marked the back of the spoon, TS44. All right, mister, where's my mister? Hold on, guys. Here we go. Here is the mister color. Right there. I use blue across the board so we can kind of use the same color across the board. Here is Vallejo or Vallejo. And here is the candy right here. Oops, hold on. There we go. There's the candy. We're going to spray it over that. I'll put the base color here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show it to you guys on spoons. I got these prepped here for the test. They're all a little different. Well, I got a butter knife in there too. I guess I ran out of spoons. So we'll see what that looks like. And, of course, bare plastic. So I got this red. I couldn't find a blue um, that satisfied me. I had a little tiny pieces, but this red is nice and large. This is the only straying off of the blue color we're going to go with. But I got three pieces. 
of uh, red plastic from a Gumpla kit, and we'll see uh, how that looks. And that's it. I'm going to show on camera three of them, and but the rest off, cam off camera. I'm going to do the rest off camera and show you guys uh, the results of all of these is what we're going to do. Now what I'm going to do here is we are going to show you which ones I'm going to spray. I'm going to get everything out of the way here. On camera, we're going to do Revell because I've never tried it before. Mr. Super Clear Matte. I've done the their gloss in the can, which is great. I haven't done the matte yet, so this will be a first. And uh, I figured I'd do this Titans because it's i got a few questions on that. So we'll do these three on camera. Not that it's special. It's just clear going on. This It's all going to look the same going on. I probably shouldn't do more than one of them, but uh, I figured we'll show these three. It's going to go fast anyway. And the rest we will do behind the scenes, but we'll show you the results at the very end. Now, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, oh, hold on a second. I'm about to show you how I shake it with my Typhoon paint mixer, and I was working on this off camera. I got some more racks from Typhoon, and uh, I'll show you later. I'm working on the room and trying to get all the paint up on shelves, racks, and the wall. And um, uh, I want to let you guys know these racks, which I love, um, are on sale for Labor Day weekend. It's going to be on sale till Monday night, 20% off all the paint racks, and I believe shipping's included. This is a bargain. I would pick up some of these guys. Um, I'll mention it at the end of the video, too. Uh, Typhoon Racks. Uh, there's the website, typhoonpainting.com. And the reason why I just remembered that is because I'm about to push forward. Oh, man, this is heavy. The paint mixer right here. And uh, you can put it on a piece of foam if your bench ends up uh, moving, but usually it doesn't. These are pretty anchored down. They don't really cause too much trouble on the desk at all. Here is Ravel. I mean, like I'm saying, his, this helps a lot. Instead of me sitting there shaking them, and these don't really have to be shaking too much. They're clear. You know, there's no color separation or whatnot, but... And you can hear that, the marble in there shaking around. You can flip it upside down. This is really going fast on the camera with the frame rate. It looks like it's going slow. Now what's great about this rack is I can also, uh, this mixer, it's any size can. You can really hear the marble working its way in there. And I can even do the giant can. Oops, I had to hold it in place, man. This thing is moving. There you go. If you can hear the marble jiggling around, you got it made. And that's it. Usually when I get to the booth, I'll just do a couple of shakes because it's pretty much well shaken at that point. So let's get this out of the way. Oh, again, on the same website, if you guys are going to go buy a paint rack, uh, check out the paint mixes. Wow, man, that thing is heavy. Built like a tank. Um, all right, so let's head over. We'll bring over some spoons, bring over the plastic pieces. We'll grab a can. And, uh, yeah, let's get this test started. We're going to see how it reacts to the different types of paints is what we're going to do. And uh, then we'll take it from there. All right, well, here we are at the booth. We are ready to go. We're going to start with Ravel. I just grabbed any one that I had. Let's go ahead and see what we get here. This is the Tamiya. Wow, this comes out. Wow. Well, that's it for that. That's covered. Let me put that down. Wow, this comes out quick. This is the Mister. There we go. Looks super shiny when you first put it on. That's for sure. All right. Let's try it over uh, candy blue. That's it. All right, as I said, nothing exciting because it's a clear, but uh, go ahead and show them anyway. This is over a piece of plastic, uh, Gumpla plastic. Let's make sure it's uh, no dust on it. All right, here we go. All right, we'll let that dry. All right, that is all. Let me grab the next can and the next set of spoons. All right, next up is uh, Titans. Hobby Primer, made in Italy. Let's go ahead. Ooh, this comes out a little finer, a little nicer. All right, what do we have here? This is the Mr. Paint. Yeah, the, I like the way this goes on really good. Wow. I gotta put the spoon down behind me. This is Tamiya. Let's make sure it's dust-free. 
good performing uh, nozzle. Really, really good. All right, let's try it over candy. Well, it looks great if it's gloss. Look at that. All right, over the Vallejo. I forgot to show this on the Ravel, sorry, but... No, this is going to look shiny, of course, because it's going over matte already, but we want to see how it reacts to uh, an acrylic. And plastic. Really impressive. The nozzle is impressive. We'll see how the quality is once it's done. So, uh, there we go. All right, let me put these out to dry and grab the last one. All right, last one on camera, Mr. Super Clear Matt. All right, one of my favorite brands. Let's see how it goes. With Tamiya. Oh, this sprays. This sprays pretty good too. Wow, really smooth. All right, hold on. Over its own brand, Mister. Should work over its own paint, right? Putting it down next to me. All right. Over the candy, Mr. Blue. Well, I call it candy. This is clear blue. Beautiful color. Working on a kit that's uh, almost all clear blue like that. Uh, candy blue. Over uh, Vallejo, or Vallejo, however you guys say it. All right. Putting it down right next to me, guys. And the last one is a piece of uh, Gumpla plastic. This is a big piece I got here, wow. That's it. All right, I'm gonna have all these dry. I'll put them in my uh, dehydrator. And uh, off camera, I'll spray the rest. And we'll go over them back at the bench. All right, my friends, here we are back at the bench with the results. Uh, we'll split it in half because that's all I can fit here on my bench. Um, sorry if the lighting looks off. I don't think it does. This light, I'll show you. Look at this. The darkness. That LED light blue. I mean, these things last forever. I get one that dies. Uh, I had to go buy another one. There it is right there. And I got to mount it. So uh, in the middle of rebuilding the room, so to speak, getting everything organized, look what happens. The light blows. So I don't know if that's affecting as we come around to the bench, because I do have this BenQ light. Let me tilt it to you. See, it? that's a nice even light, and you adjust that. That gives me the curvature here and even lighting. So if it looks a little different, I hope it doesn't. Uh, by the next video, that uh, light, which just came in today, will be mounted and uh, we'll be back in business. Anyway, let's go over the results. Any particular order. Uh, this is the Vallejo or Vallejo. All right, let's go ahead and see what's in here. Here we go. All right. This is it over. What is this? Testers? No. All right, this is over the mister. Right there. Uh, looks good. I wish I had... I only have the Tamiya spoon left. I guess I didn't do enough. You can see how shiny they should be. And look at that. You know what? This is pretty good. It's smooth. It's not a rough texture to it. It's, uh, these are durable because I've used this before and it's pretty durable. Uh, yeah, let's look at it over uh, Tamiya. That's over Tamiya. It's a slightly different color. Hold on, that spoon I just held up was Tamiya. There you go. But it really likes those colors. I mean, that looks great. All right, let's see how it looks over plastic. Yeah, it is even. It's beautiful. It's satin. Uh really good an unsung hero here this is a good one on top of it you get a giant can which should last you quite a while and it's an acrylic let's see how it looks over um, the blue here we go this is candy blue this is what it normally would look like it doesn't look too great here it's not as nice as I would have liked it see it's got a texture to it, it for some reason it really showed through here where the other colors it didn't you know see it so not great over the candy, but good over the, the other three. All right, and this is the funny part. This is Vallejo, blue, hold on. Blue, Vallejo, or Vallejo, right? And it uh, it didn't like it. It's its own, look at it, it's its own color. It just came out lousy. 
it did way better over the solvents than it did over an acrylic. On top of it, it didn't come out flat. It actually did the reverse and shiny. So while it's not perfect, it did not like its own brand of paint. Go figure. I mean, look at it. It's perfect over the Mr. Color. Look at it. Weird. Almost perfect. Windsor and Newton matte varnish uh, went into this one blind. Had no idea what to expect. Let's see what we got. All right, had a great nozzle on it. It sprayed really well, just like uh, the other ones with this type of nozzle. It really does have a nice misting effect to it. It sprayed really well. All right, this is it over, uh, where was the main one? Here we go. This is Mr. Color. Beautiful. Let's see, not quite as matte as, yeah, it's a little bit of a shine to it. Whereas the Vallejo got a bit of a deadening to it. This is it over Tamiya. Hold on, we'll do the comparison. There we go. All right. This is it over the Vallejo. Again, Vallejo is matte to start with. It kind of absorbs. It wreaks a little bit of havoc with the clears. But still did a good job. Better than Vallejo itself did. This is over the Candy. And actually, this is much better than the Vallejo. So, yeah. You just get that dull, anodized look. Not too bad. Pretty good. Uh, this is a sleeper. And it sprayed on well, and it dried well. Let's look at it over plastic. This is the biggest mystery of all of them. Will it stay on plastic? And let me look at this. No, it dried beautifully. It's, uh... It's not as perfect as the... Let me see if I can get this to stay here. It's a little rough. But still, it kind of worked. Um, so yeah, this is a shocker. Uh, this is really pretty good, man. Particularly, you probably have more luck getting an art supply store in your neighborhood than a hobby store. And if you find that, uh, you could do a lot worse. I think this is not too bad, man. Not bad at all. Citadel. Citadel. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is not good. Um, all right, let's start with Mr. Color. Here we are. And uh, it did some kind of hazing thing over here. It's not bad, but it's really uneven. And this is dust that must have been on the piece, but it, it didn't coat well here. Let's look at it over testers. I mean testers. Tamiya. Again, it, it's really uneven. It pulled up over here or something. I sprayed them all identical, and they all dried as they should. So the pooling would be a product of the company's... Uh, yeah, that did not come out good. This is over the Vallejo, right? V, yep. Really awful. It's all cloudy. Can you see it? I don't know if I get this lighting for you guys. Look at it. It's all cloudy. Oh, I don't like this at all. Let's see how it went over the candy. Oh, no, that didn't work. It didn't like the candy. This is, uh... Wow, the Citadel's an epic fail. This did not like anything. Oh, my goodness. Look at it. I thought it would be an acrylic, which is really harmless to most paints it goes on top of. It's it's an acrylic. Wow, that's not good. Let's look at the plastic. This ain't good either. It's all cloudy at one side. It's all hazy over here. See it? Uneven. Wow. That is not good. I cannot recommend this one. So, there you go. Sorry, uh, Henry Cavill. That one did not go well. Uh, true color. All right, let's dump this out. Let's see what we get here. All right, over Mr. Color. What in the world? It's like semi-gloss. This is not flat. I mean, where's the regular? I mean, it, it, it's <laughs> it's a little duller. It's all it's almost. It's, hold on, let's see. Here we go. Here's a comparison. Look at what Vallejo did or Vallejo to this one. I mean, nah, it's, it's, it's a safe flat. It does. It doesn't say satin. I even think they make a satin finish. I got the wrong label. That is not good. Look at the difference. This is flat. Wow. All right, let's see how it went over. Let's test uh, Tamaya. Tamaya. Oh, man, it didn't like this. Is this Tamaya? Yeah, TS. Yeah, it didn't like Tamaya at all. That is not good. That's two bad ones. 
This one's only bad because it's like semi-gloss. It actually didn't look too bad. This is over the Vallejo. Again, not too bad, but this is flat to start with, and it really just did nothing. Actually, it looks like the looks like the Mister. A little duller. That's because the paint was dull. Yeah, this one ain't good either. Oh, wait a minute. It didn't like the candy. It didn't like the candy at all. Let's see how it did on the plastic. Oop, the plastic isn't bad. It, it did not mind the plastic. I want my shiny. Oh, look, we got a comparison here. Here we go. There you go. There's a comparison. That's all it did good. That is another epic fail. I do not recommend. Tell that I pay for this thing. Oh, eleven sixty nine, twelve bucks. Oh, their regular paint is awesome. I use the black for bases. They have a shiny black. It's awesome. Not not that one. Oops, sorry guys, don't kick the thing on here. Testers dull coat, the famous, often recommended, Testers dull coat. Let's see what we get. Let me get Mister first. Here's Mister. We always start with the Mister one. Uh, very good. This is good. It's even. It may seem light here, but I think I put the paint mist a little bit there. It has nothing to do with this. Uh, very good. Let me look at a shiny comparison. Yeah, see it? It's really good. It's not as dead as the Vallejo. But it's close. But you can see the deadness of the Vallejo. See it? So dead, there's no reflection. A little bit of reflection right there. I mean, if you want to go dead flat, it's the Vallejo so far. But this is almost dead flat with a slight reflection. I actually like this. And it's kind of smooth, so you could probably put uh, decals on top of this or panel lining. It really, really nice. Not bad. Not bad, testers. This is over Tamiya. Now we can get a direct comparison here. There's the Tamiya before and after, right? Both Tamiya. Yep. All right. Over the Vallejo. Nice and even. Did one of the better ones. Did better than Vallejo did on its own paint. That's actually pretty good. That's really good. Uh, where's the candy? Here it is. Uh, candy, not bad. It dulled the candy out really good. This is it without anything on it. It's rough because that's the surface was rough. It's uh, got the scratches in it. You can see it. But you can see the shine to it where you lose it here. It's like anodized. Not bad. All right. Hopefully on the plastic it looks good. Then we got one that's good so far across the board. It did a beautiful job on the plastic. Right, not as smooth as I would like, and the ends did not, it caked up a bit on the end. Let me see if I can show you. There it is. Not good. And let me tell you, I misted this one on a couple of coats, but it still found its level. So you have to let this sit a real long time between coats, because it did a good job up until that pooling. So, not perfect. Good over the paint. I think it needs the paint to grip onto, it would seem. So that's the first five. Let me get the next four, and uh, we'll wrap this up. Let me get these off the bench. All right, let's wrap this up with the last four. And then uh, he is on here because um, he was a full clear coated. Almost, I think I sprayed the whole guy as you see him standing there with his shield off or his arms taken off. But I'll show you uh, him at the wrap up here at the end. Titan, right here. Let's go. All right, over Mister. Nah, it's kind of a semi-gloss still. It's even. Oh, it's really smooth. It's smooth like glass. Um, let's see it over Tamiya. Oh, it didn't like the Tamiya. Look, it reacted here a little bit. It peeled up or something. And yet it, it didn't mind the Mister Hobby. Oh, you know what? Let me grab. Hold on, guys. Let me grab a comparison spoon. I'm back. I just reached behind me because I want to get the Vallejo, which is the dead flat. Look at it. It's the same color. Look. So this is the Titan. Again, semi-gloss. It says matte, doesn't it? Matte varnish. Yeah. Here's the, if it says satin, this is what you get. Or semi-gloss. This is flat. But this this Vallejo is really the best one so far. Um, yeah, so this one isn't great. It gave a semi-gloss to this. It, it did something to Tamiya there. I don't like that at all. Uh, this is over the Vallejo. Um, that chip was on there. Eh, not bad. I mean, it's flat to start with. It kind of made it semi-gloss but it is smooth it's got a really smooth and I know it's a durable uh, coating I've tested it once on something a while ago and it was pretty durable this is over uh, the candy um, looks like the original candy let me make some room here it's close nah dulled it a little bit a little bit so yeah, not as reflective 
but still not that anodized look. It's didn't do much at all. Where is the oh here it is? Plastic. This will get a little plastic. Oh, let's keep this Vallejo spoon with me. No, wait, it did like the plastic. Let me see. Let's compare it to the plastic. Yeah, see the difference? And it did like the plastic. It's smooth, no pulling at all. It really did like the plastic. So there's that. There's this is without it. I'm just where I'm showing that. Yeah, so it did like the plastic. Most of them, for some reason, it didn't like Tamiya. God knows why. What happened there? All right, let's move that over. Get him out of the way. All right, next up, we have Tamiya. All right. All right, get this out of the way. All right, Tamiya, let's see what you got. Tamiya over Mr. Hobby. There we go. Yeah, it looks good. It's dull. You might see some ghosting here, but I think that was the original paint job. I, uh, a couple of spoons got ruined. I dropped them, so I had to take what I had left. But it is pretty dull. It looks good. This is pretty comparison to Vallejo, which is this one. Pretty good. Let's see it over its own brand of paint over Tamiya. Yep, that's Tamiya over Tamiya. Very nice. Where's the original? Here it is. There's the original. So the Tamiya is nice, it's even, it's smooth, uh, very good, very good. All right, that's that, Mr. Hobby, this is it over the Vallejo. Hold on, here we go. Again, smooth and nice. Now this paint is matte to start with, but I wanted to see how it reacted to it, and uh, it, no problem, went right over it, made it a little more durable than it should have been. So, so far, Tamiya is good across the board. Here it is over the uh, candy. This is, again, a spoon that I had sitting around. These these defects were in the spoon. This is what it looked like. This is the first one that really did a good job anodizing the candy. And Tamiya over plastic. One of my favorites over plastic, which is what I did him in. I'll show you him at the end here. Look at that. It's just even. It's uh, It didn't pull up. It's got a beautiful satin look to it. Let me get a... A piece that's not coated. There you go. That's it before and after. So there. All right. Tamaya's a going. Uh, thumb up on Tamaya. We do like that. Next is Ravel. Let me get the Tamiya out of the way. All right. Ravel. Let's see what we got here. That's the Ravel can. And uh, Mr. is right here. Let's see what we get. Oh yeah, this came out good. Oh, it's smooth. It's even. It came out really good. This is the Vallejo one, so it's close to Vallejo. I really like this. Uh, what is it, Ravel? I really like this one. Came out good. Uh, just so you can see the shine difference, you know. That's uh, Tamiya is the brighter one, right? Yeah, right here, Tamiya. Yep. So it is Tamiya shiny, and there it is coated with Ravel. Ravel, coming through. Not bad at all. Smooth. Yep. This is over the Vallejo spoon. Again, these chips were in it, by the way, these white specks. Look at how good it did that. All three are nice dead flat. Very impressed here. Let's see how it did on the candy. Oh, the candy is perfect. This is what I'm looking for. See this anodized look? The others are just too shiny to give it that look. You know. Oh, man, really good. I hope they didn't see how it did the plastic. And the plastic also is good. An across-the-board winner so far, the Ravel. I had no idea the Ravel was going to be that good. Here it is, you know, not, not coated at all. Almost changes the tone of the red completely. Wow. A shocker. That's a good one. All right, let's get to the last one. Wow, the Ravel is awesome. Really am shocked, guys. I really am, actually. All right. Let's get Ravel out of the way. And the last one is, oh, Mr. C Mr. Super Clear, Matt. Let's see how he did. All right, over its own paint, which is not marked. Here it is, Mr. All right, over its own paint, a semi-gloss, whereas uh, Vallejo is still the deadest. But I actually do like this. This is, this is really good. It's a slightly smoother finish, so it'll probably take a decal a little better. And here it is, uh, so you see the shininess that it took away. Really good. That's over the Mr. Paint. 
Let's see how it looks over Tamiya. Tamiya, really good. Again, super smooth. Here's the original Tamiya. Wow, really good. Uh, Vallejo, let's see how it looks over the Vallejo. Really good. This, this handled the Vallejo the best so far. It's smooth. Whereas the Vallejo to start with is kind of rough. Uh, where's the, is the candy? Oh, the candy is perfect. This is the perfect candy right here. The Ravel I do like quite a bit. It's a whole different look because it, it dulls it right out. See it? But this is also awesome. I do like this this look on the uh, the candy blue. I might be the kid I'm working on. I might do a two tone candy, whereas one of the candies looks like this, and the rest of it looks like this. See it? So I can. It's like a color separation thing. I'm experimenting with. Look at that. Check the plastic, and again, Mr. Color is great across the board. And the plastic is perfect, absolutely perfect. Completely matte all the way around, no pooling, no bubbling. Here is the original color. You can see the back, the original color. Over right here, we'll show this. How's that? So, fantastic. This is great. Ravel was great. And the Tamiya was great. Across the board, those are the three winners, I think. Um, again, you can't do bad with the Windsor. It's a big can. The Vallejo, I think, is great. It's a big can. You get a lot for your money if you can find them. Once you get into shipping them and you start touching on $30, uh, at that point, it's probably not worth it. Uh, if you can get one locally and save the money, it's good. Other than that, if you're going to ship anything, get a bunch of paints, throw them in. One flat rate shipping is the way to buy my paint. That's how I buy my paint. You know, if you get a place with a $10 shipping, buy a bunch of paints 10 20 cans or throw in some bottles get a bunch of paint and you only drop in 10 bucks or so for shipping it's the way to go some guys offer free shipping at a hundred and something chain spending it's actually worth it you're gonna get your retail just below retail price on all of them you're probably gonna get no tax and the shipping will be free it's the best way to start collecting paint but I do like this the Ravel to Mia I got Ravel at Mega Hobby these you get anywhere even Hobby Lobby starting to carry these most hobby shops have these. Uh, so these, of course, would probably be the easier ones to get. As far as America goes, in Europe, you can get Ravel really easy, I believe, in Tamiya. Um, but, yeah, that is the test. That is the lineup. Let's see if we can get the cans laid out here again. Hold on. Let me pause it. All right, guys, wrapping this up. Hail, the gang is all here. Let me show you the mat that I use on him. I put this little stick in there so I can keep this display case. So I can open it up on camera. It's so airtight. It's tricky. And I have a mirror usually under this behind me where I display him. Let's get this out of the way. All right. He was a straight build out of the box. Uh, panel lined the kit. Full decals. And I actually took, I believe it was to, to me. That's why I had access. I built this on the kitchen table because I was moving to this house. This wasn't ready. The other house was packed up. And I was really building this on the kitchen table. And um, you could see... All the beautiful panel lining work I did on him. This is this is a straight build out of the box, straight out of the box. Snipped it, trimmed it, put them together, um, panel lined them, put the decals that came in the kit, and sprayed it with this. And this is what you can get out of a straight out of the box, zero airbrushing because everything was packed up. I couldn't airbrush at that point. But look at how beautiful and dull and matte the Tamiya came out. Look at this. Almost looks like the blue he just worked on. You know, if there's any damage on him, it's because he's been moved around so much. But look at the panel lining work I did on this guy. And uh, yeah, once I was done, I took the arms off, left the legs on, I believe, and I just put them on a stick with the display, the base, the display base, and just sprayed the whole guy around and let it dry. It took only about an hour or two to dry. And this is the result. Phenomenal. So, you guys, you want to do a nice build? Without uh, going crazy, straight build out of the box, panel line, dull coat, whatever you call it, matte or flat. And this is what you can get as a result. And uh, he is a beauty. This is the real grade. And um, let's see if we can zoom in on a little bit. Hey, there he is. And uh, hey, that is it. That is the test, guys. All right. Thank you guys for sticking around. Please like the video. It means a lot to me. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already because uh, many more to come. I try to do uh, multiple videos a week. I do at least one a week. And um, little changes in life over here at the house. 
um, and just sneaking in the, the second video a week, but we keep trying. But there will always be at least one a week, so please subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys know when I have a new video. Let me pull this out again because I'm going to show you something uh, that just came in. Hold on one second. I got a case of this stuff. This is just the stuff I just unwrapped. Finishers from Japan. Beautiful colors. And uh, we'll be testing these. I do like these paints quite a bit. They're pure lacquers. And uh, Japanese. That's so pink pearl. I mean, I'm not going to go through it. I got tons of these. This is just what I've unboxed so far because everyone is wrapped up. Let me show you how they came. Everyone is, each bottle came wrapped like this. I think it came from uh, Burbank House of Hobbies or Galaxy Toy. One of, I ordered two orders from those two places, so I know it's from one of them. That's what was in there. What was this? Foundation Gray. Oh, this is a uh, primer. So, yeah, there's uh, a whole bunch of this. I got the lacquer thinner. I don't know why I don't really need it, but uh, I think it was on sale. So, yeah, this test is coming up, and um, really excited to try these out. And I got a bunch of new Born paints that just came in and a bunch of Gaia paints. So a lot of tests are coming up. I'm working on a Sunan 7 uh, test for you guys. And uh, that's coming soon, too. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Please consider joining my Patreon uh, below. Uh, I'll answer your questions directly. If you need something demoed on video, I'll do it personally for you and post it. So you get your own personally made video if you need that done, if you want to see something done. Uh, other than that, if you text me, I text you right back with, uh, with the Patreon app. So that's only 4 bucks a month. That helps fuel the cost for the channel, which is a big help for you guys. I needed, I needed some of that to buy that stupid LED light to put over the bench so I can light my videos for you. Anyway, guys, that's, uh, that's the test. I hope you find one that you like. I know I picked the three that I think are the best. Anyway, guys, have a great rest of your weekend. Have a great Labor Day weekend, which is uh, Labor Day is tomorrow. And uh, we will see you in the next video. God bless you all. You guys are the best. Have a great day.